Okay, what I've been doing lately is I've uh, put two new fuel tanks on this side. They're 75 litres each. I got them new from Isuzu. Really, really cheap. And they're actually cheaper than an old beat up second hand one. It amazed me. I've got to uh, put the Anderson plugs on there for the batteries so I can uh, jump start 12 volt or 24 volt. Put the aerial mounts on the bull bar there. I've got uh, four of them there. One for the 40 channel, the 80 channel, the AM, and something else for an auxiliary. I've uh, put the UHFs up there and the AM on the other side there. There's uh, the other tank, this one here is 100 litres, on the other side those other two are 75 each, so it gives me 250 litres all up. And the big thing I've been doing is actually narrowing the tray, so the tray's 30 mil narrower than when you buy it new. Uh, so I had to take 15 millimetres off each side, just so that the motorhome will actually fit on there perfectly. So that it won't move side to side, you'll see that in upcoming videos, why I didn't done that. Uh, this way here, if I just put the motorhome on top of the tray, it's a load that you don't have to go over registration. But if I remove the tray and bolt it directly to the chassis, it's got to go through all sorts of vehicle modification codes. And being a vehicle bodybuilder, I know, it, know all about it, and it's just a nightmare. So I thought this will be the easiest way of doing it, and I can still use it as a truck quite easily. Okay.